so freedom good morning good afternoon good evening and good night to some of you depending on your time zone and your geographical space my name is Mazi Victor Onyida and I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And of course, uh, this is a program that was designed by the indigenous people of Biafra to bring you the in-depth analysis of uh, what is happening, especially here in the zoo where everything is hidden from the view of the world. The zoo is a place where they hide the truth, they run away from it, they don't even talk about it. But here is a place where we expose the lies of the zoo. This is a place where we talk about everything especially all the evil that is going on here because Nigeria is made of evil and uh, everything about the foundation is lies and deception. This is where we talk about all those things. This is where we expose it. This is where we tell our own story. This is where we talk about everything so that the world will hear our own story so that our people will understand the direction we are going. Once again, my name is Mazi Victor and I'm not here alone in the studio. I'm here with Mazi Oge Friday. Mazi Oge Friday, good morning. Good morning to you. Can you say hello to dear friends? Hello dear friends, lovers of freedom. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Of course, uh, we are also expecting our brother Mazi every Sunday way to join us as soon as he can in order to analyze and uh, talk about the intricacies of the uh, topic we have today. Of course, uh, you can do good to share our program in all your social media spaces. Make sure you uh, uh, call your friends, your well wishers, your neighbor, even those in Biafra land. Make sure they are listening to Radio Biafra because if they are not listening, then they are missing. Because we are transmitting concurrently on Radio Biafra London. You can do good to share our program. We are on Periscope, we are on YouTube, we are on Skype, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are also on Messenger. You can do good to uh, uh, tell those who. Uh, hate Biafra, those who don't want to hear about uh, Biafra, let them come to this very platform and listen because this is where we expose all the lies of the zoo so that this, when they hear the gospel truth, they will differentiate from the lies. Once again, my name is Mazi Victor Oido and I am here with Mazi Oge Friday. Alright, uh, um, Mazi Oge Friday, I welcome you once again. Thank you. Alright, uh, um, I would like us to look at uh, this very issue that we have here. Uh, the report goes like this. The managing director of uh, NNPC, Mekanti Baru, said they have drilled down to 6,700 feet deep but hasn't gotten any sign of oil and the depth of the drilling could be longer depending on the findings in order for the corporation to move on. I mean, my question here is uh, if they eventually succeed in finding oil at the end of the day, are they likely to let their fans go this time around? Since oil is apparently the main reason why they are holding us down in one Nigeria. Once again, Friday. Um, good morning once again, fellow Bia fans. And, uh, thanks for joining us on the edition of the program this morning. Uh, the houses who are doing everything humanly possible, working hard day in, day out, to see if uh, they can see oil in their region. They are not giving up in the uh, agitation to see if they can find oil within their geographical space. But uh, it is not easy. And even if they try to get one, I do not think they will let their friends or they will just easily let out of uh, what is deposited in our land because that is what they have been sustaining with for decades now so it's going to be difficult for them and finding oil or discovering oil within their region is uh, hard not to crack no but if they, if they eventually succeed don't you think uh, oil is the i mean one nigeria is all about oil even the British occupation and uh, 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 white supremacy over uh, us in this very geographical space, everything is all about oil. I remember it is still because of the oil the British allowed uh, almost 3 million children to die in Biafra civil war, I mean the genocide that took place in Biafra land. Um, I mean, if they should find oil in abundance in that very place, don't you think it's going to be a miracle so that at least we can now have a hope of, uh, you know, you know, um, giving them what they, I mean, uh, what they are holding us down for, if they can have it in their land, don't you think it's going to be a better idea for them to, you know, let us go this time around? Yes, from uh, their own perspective. it will be a miracle should they discover oil in their region. We are all praying for that so that they will know it's not all about oil. 
because without oil we can develop ourselves as a people but the one nigeria which has been a thing of the people is tied down as a result of the oil in biafra region so everybody know of it very well that one nigeria there are so many people we're trying to protect and millions of people you know died so because of the oil deposited in biafra land so should they uh, discover oil in their own region good and fine but it's not all about oil here that nigeria is holding today uh, everything about nigeria is all about you know Igbos or biafra people there is no sector in the whole of nigeria that can function effectively without the Igbos or without biafra people so it's not even more of oil here even if you have the oil, how are you going to manage it? They will still lavish it, just as they are lavishing the ones in our you know, uh, land today. So if they discover oil, at least they will have something to fall back on. On that note, they will leave uh, their fans alone. You know, it's fully to go because this time, one Nigeria is all tied down as a result of the oil in our land. Everybody knows that very well. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi. Uh, uh, Mazi with Friday for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, we are looking at the se uh, second report we have here about uh, uh, what is really going on. I, I mean, what are the Biafans are facing uh, up there in the north. I want to read out the report this time around. Uh, it goes like this breaking news. The Biafran traders in Kefi market evacuate their goods from their shops over the order from the Nasarawa state government as their shops await demolition. Now here is the details in full. At the late hour of yesterday, being Tuesday, the 26th day of March 2019, there was some rumors that the Kefi market which was built and dominated by the Igbo speaking Biafrans will be demolished. And to this end, some Biafran traders got panicky, trooped out in large number to evacuate their ways to temporary safety area. Some traders we are seen packing some of their goods uh, out from their shops. Hence, uh, terribly scared of the uncertainty and the impending cataclysm awaiting their means of livelihood. And on Wednesday, the 27th day of March, the chairman of the Provision Dealers Association, PDA Mr. Festus Chibuko aka Ogaface announced to the traders that the uh, market may be demolished anytime sooner than they had expected. Also, he made this statement basically on the information he received from the Nasarawa State Urban Development. Also, um, Development Council that an order has been given by the state government to demolish the market since it was dominated by the Biafrans. Note that before now, our Nasrawa state media team have investigated the situation bordering on the man, on the man, uh, on the man-made inferno which took place at the same cafe market that destroyed the lot of uh, Biafran businesses and means of livelihood, and how the culprit apprehended we are being freed by the same people who sent them to do so. Not forgetting how the traders, mainly the Biafrans, who mainly built and. Uh, dominated the market we are being asked to relocate to a new market site in Gauta by the state government which resulted in the earlier setting our blaze to probably force them out and accomplish that very mission by some rich house of Lani men who bought a big chunk of the new market. One thing is certain here the Nigerian government have continued to show the Igbo speaking Biafrans that they are second class citizens and could be removed from one place to another at any given moment, not minding the pains and suffering they had to go through. It is also a clear signal to what Mazi Nandikano Hamadike, one of Biafran land, has been saying that they can never love us, no matter what we do for them. And just today, it's already happening in Kefi, and people must reason with the IPOB calling us to come together and fight for Biafra, for it is only Biafra that shall uh, set us free and that is, uh, that is what guarantees our lives our means of livelihood our market our investment our future let us all come together and speak with one voice in line with the 
uh, vision of IPOB and be free from slavery. This is Mazi Chinedo Kenwa reporting for Nasrawa State Media. All right, Mazi Oge Friday, you know, this one too is also another, you know, serious one. You know, um, yesterday we talked about uh, the one that happened in Abuja, how uh, the shops belonging to Biafans mm -hmm. were set ablaze uh, by Dunamis Church in Abuja. And uh, today again, we are here talking about uh, the one that is happening in Kefi, a market that was built from the scratch by Biafans. And all of a sudden, it uh, after setting it ablaze for some couple of uh, months past, this time around, they are outrightly chasing the people out of the market. What would you make of that? It is very bad, I must say. It is quite unfortunate that uh, on a daily basis, we keep hearing uh, news from all corners of Nigeria on how our people are being, you know, oppressed from their market places, from their business areas. There has not been any tribe on earth being oppressed like our people are being oppressed in all parts of Nigeria. The kind of uh, humiliation and the kind of uh, inhuman treatment that our people are being subjected into in this Nigeria that ought to be a country of all the three ethnicity uh, nations in Nigeria is, is quite unfortunate, it's quite unfair. But what can we say is all the cause of our people because if they had listened to the call of IPUB to, to return home all this while, it wouldn't have been repeating itself on a frequent basis like this. You know, there was a time ago when this incident occurred at that same market where millions of uh, uh, goods belonging to Biafans were destroyed and uh, nothing was done about it. They still went back there and started afresh. At this time around, they have looked for another reason, you know, to wipe them out again, to chase them out from that place. Then making many other people to start afresh from beginning which is very, very unfortunate. That is not how it is being done. There has never been anybody on earth, or any tribe on earth, that face what your fans are facing in Nigeria. And I still don't know why people are still taking this country as one. Because there is no equality here. Our people are being marginalized in a high level. The Biafran people are suffering it so much by the other indigents of this contraption called Nigeria. If we go to the Yoruba land, we are being oppressed. If we go to Hausa, we are being oppressed. Then where else do we, you know, be safe if not to come back home and make our, you know, life better? Join hands together with IPOB and do the right thing at the right time. Are they waiting until they are all being wiped out? I've continued to repeat this that anybody who is, you know, threatening your means of livelihood, anybody who is not letting your means of livelihood to, you know, thrive, that person is also uh, looking a way to danger your life because you know the first thing you can do to a man is when you make that man go hungry, he will be, he will be helpless. So they are making our people to, to be hungry, therefore not being able to do any other thing. And when somebody is subjected to the high level of hunger. He can do anything to you, and you can't do anything because a hungry man is, is automatically a hungry man. You can't do anything again. You cannot stand up to fight because you don't have the, the strength to fight. So what can you do? At this critical time, we are sounding it as a warning. We are listening to our people know that the best thing you can do for yourselves is just to organize yourselves. Come back home. They have rejected you in so many places. In Lagos, the same is you know the story. In uh, Abuja, the same is the story. And I've never even come to give you any tangible reason why you are doing all these things they are doing to you. If you go to the north, the same thing applicable. Medjugorje, the same thing applicable. So where else do you find comfort if not your homes? So our people should be wise this time around. They have used us for a very long time. We gather and they scatter. We gather and they scatter. That is not how to make things work. It doesn't work that way in any other country apart from this contraction called Nigeria because it, everything belongs to them. They, they, they claim the ownership of the country so they can do anything. So, so when you are in their land, I remember many of them are here in our land, you know, making their own business, making their own money. But for one day, nobody has ever gone to threaten them where they are doing their business. I know how many millions that they make even in a bony state, Aba, where they sell their livestock. Nobody has ever one day gone there to disturb them. But in our own case, is, the, is, is different totally. When our people go there to do their business, they are being you know, chased from here and there. 
I have known a place where the house are people, you know, reside, make their business, do their business, you know, in our land and make their money for decades. They are there. Nobody has ever gone to disturb them for one day or even chase them to and fro. But if you go out there as a girlfriend to trade, if they notice that you are thriving, your business is working well, they will come, you know, chasing you from one place to another to destabilize all that you've worked for for years. It's quite unfortunate. Our people should learn. This country is not one. You know what they are what they are doing is just to tell you that you are a minority though you are a majority that you know makes everything works in this country but with all these things they are doing it's just a means to tell you that you are nothing man you are nothing in this country we can handle you anyhow you want to handle you and nothing will be done about it the president is our brother the advice is our brother every sector is you know locked up with our people so who do you want to to complain to nobody so my brother, it is quite unfortunate, but our people should learn what is that which you have invested there that you cannot let go and find a way to come and make your life better in your land. You have empty lands here that you can come and you know dwell and build, make it better so that they will even come to you and buy from you. So this call is, is, uh, is indeed very necessary that our people should wake up. Because all these things, these stories everywhere, every day, it's, it's been quite unfortunate. And the federal government don't even seem to care. They don't even want to do anything about it. You okay, um, um, let me come in here, Mazuge Friday. You know, when you just mentioned uh, federal government uh, uh, not caring about what is going on, don't you think uh, if you follow it and uh, to the root cause of the matter, don't you think the federal government might, in one way or the other, have a hand in all of this? Because uh, it started, let me not say it started in Lagos, it started, you know, in so many other places we cannot uh, pinpoint now. And the thing is like going around, but let's say Lagos is like uh, a beginning. Uh, points for them this very time around and uh, you, you saw how they uh, took over I mean the Yorubas, how they took over the properties belonging to the Igbos and the markets that was uh, uh, built by them and developed single-handedly like the Ladipo markets where they were chased out and uh, we are talking about also the transfer of, of which they built it from the scratch to the stage it was now and all of a sudden they were chasing them out and something is happening in other places look at uh, uh, what happened in abuja you know uh, people are the ones who contributed all their hard-earned money to build that very church i think it is the largest auditorium in the world now it is built by the money donated by the Biafrans. and at the end of the day the only way uh, they could be paid back is to burn their shops and their goods inside and they lost everything now they have to start all over again now we are talking about uh, nasarawa state you know the thing is going and uh, is rotating tomorrow i think uh, we might likely come here to talk about another place again where they were they will be uh, treated uh, in the same vein so d don't you think uh, that the federal government itself how uh, in one word that they have hands in all of this yes in every work done on earth there are division of labor you understand you know there are people who plant there are people who water so the silence of uh, the federal government of nigeria especially this administration of uh, uh, buhari dead now replaced by jubril i mean al sudani i would say that of course they had hand in what is that that is happening here because all these thoughts that go about you know causing all this problem burning down and destroying the shops of our people harassing them after extorting a huge amount of money from them I would say that they are planted by the federal government of Nigeria. Because if not, if they are hand, hand in whatever that is happening, they should have done something about this before now. They should have come up, like I said the other day, they should have come up with a law, or even if it is a dialogue, ordering all these indigenous peoples, wherever the Igbos are residing, doing their business, no other person should, you know, harm them. No other person should do this and that. Besides, we have, uh, you know, customers, rights, Charter. and the same with uh, you know the producers and uh, you know, sellers so everybody have his own right they buy a no, 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 we are not uh, talk, talking about uh, customers right of uh, production here we are talking about uh, those who bought land and developed it from the scratch because this place we are talking about uh, if you go there let's say some few years back those places are bush you do understand and um, like uh, lagos uh, that we're talking about most of those places are filled up with waters and uh, our people bought it and filled it up then started building and developing it 
it's not a matter of uh, in whether they are customers here they are the owners of the land they should because uh, any land that uh, you have the c of o that is uh, a land that is belonging to you then how come all of a sudden the government of that very state will you know uh, it kind of uh, influence uh, some group of individuals to take over in order to i mean they will drive the people away to another new virgin land for them to go and start developing after they must have spent all their life earning in order to develop the previous ones they did so it's, it's that's what we're talking about yes that the the federal government or the state government you know where all these things is happening they are very much aware of it because he should not be aware they wouldn't have allowed this to happen and on the other hand these people they pay even tax to them they live up to their you know obligation to make sure that things are working well for them in the market places they even pay royalty to the people that own the land generally do you understand but in the end of everything they will turn all of a sudden to say no we don't want it here again come we're going to show you another place to stay they will start afresh and building after they might have developed that uh, that side they will come up again and say no we don't want you to stay here again go you end up building for them you end up developing their lands and in your own home nothing is there i know somebody or people who you know was there in uh, in the north they make so much money there but after uh, after a while they will say oh the, the my shop was destroyed everything i have was destroyed this is and that that will be the end of the whole story but in his home uh, country home nothing was done there nothing to you know ride home about all because all the years he spent in the north were all serving the house of we were all laboring in vain for them so my brother it is not easy at all our brethren they have suffered so much and the federal government of nigeria if they won't say that they are not aware of this they are very much aware of what is happening they are very much aware because and, and they want it to continue because if they want it to continue they will have done something about it to protect the rights of the Igbos who are traders but they don't want it that way. They want it to be frustrated. That's why they will keep quiet because they know if, if you are frustrated, running from here, scatter, running from here and there, you know you won't concentrate to even talk about your freedom. You won't even concentrate to do something about it, or even to know what is happening back home. But when you are okay, but don't you think uh, this very dev uh, development that is going not just in one particular place or the other? I mean, this very thing, this very trend now is going around because if you uh, listen very carefully. Uh, at the video of, I mean, the audio uh, recorded voice of uh, Kunle and uh, Al Haji. This is something, I mean, it's just like a script that has been written and uh, it is now being played out. And if you uh, uh, watch the speech of, uh, I mean, the secret meeting uh, when uh, this uh, former Minister of uh, Finance, uh, what is her name, uh, uh, Adeo Sun, whatever. She said that uh, by uh, 2007, by the end of 2017, that the the Igbos or the the Igbo Biafrans are going to be irrelevant in business, and uh, don't you think uh, all this script is really playing out this time around? It's exactly what we are saying that all of these things is a, is a, is a device developed to you know reduce our people to nothing, to destabilize us. It is just a plot. This has been you know plotted. It has been planned before now, you know, to reduce our people to nothing, to frustrate our people. You know to make you look irrelevant because when you become fugitive and vagabond what then are you good of nothing you, be, you keep wandering from one place to another you have no concentration to even know what is happening back home when i even telling that your home is burning you won't even have the chance you won't even have the money to you know transport yourself back home to know what's happening home when i tell you that oh your house is on fire you won't even have the transportation offer to come or even to give attention to what is happening home because you're under frustration even to make both ends meet will, will be problem to you you go back and face the landlord all of those things so they, they know what they are doing they have you know planned it to make our people irrelevant and to become helpless such that if you are talking about how you get you know your freedom you are even talking about how you get your your food i mean money to feed yourself do you see it now because our people are very busy and they toil day and night you know laboring from one place to another or to make bone a meat and in the end of the whole thing the people who doesn't even know what they have suffered will come and say it is over because they say they claim the ownership of the land and nothing will be done is a place where we're supposed to have equal right 
Because as long as it is okay, Nigeria. Mazda, Mazda Friday. Thank you very much for that wonderful submission. Of course, I'm going to come back to you much later. I'm, it seems like Mazda Evis is here, so I want to welcome him to the program. Mazda Evis, all the way. Good morning. My uh, colleague, uh, Victor Onyito. And um, okay. I just want to say a big thank you to all two of you. This very morning is just um, a, a great morning with a, a different uh, hot news. Um, let's watch and see how it goes now because um, those listening, are they doing what they are hearing? That is the main issue. So thank you. And I want to thank all your friends from all walks of life. As they are listening, please invite your friends to be with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mazi Evis, on the way. And uh, I welcome you once again to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course, uh, you, you you are aware of uh, the main topic of discussion today. But before we go much uh, into that uh, and uh, talking about the solution and uh, what our people are supposed to do, I would like us to go uh, on a short break and uh, when we come back from the break, we'll continue from where we stop. And I would like uh, every beer fans listening and watching us right now to look at the screen to take a look at some of the pictures of uh, how the evacuation was taking place and also the video of uh, what one of our brothers have to say over there. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon viewers all over the world. Um, today in KFE, today being Wednesday, the 27th day of March 2019, uh, we saw the people of KFE evacuating their goods from their shops. Some are even taking out the this in that the daggers and the shops in that they did in their shops. So I don't know. We want to go around and get the information or about what is happening. Please, Mr. Well, thank you, my uh, Please, can you tell the world what is actually happening? What is happening? So, now, right now, the government for for how many years we are still in this market? We are, the, we are the one that built this market. For how many years? We are staying here. So even today, they don't give us any any distance at all. Any, any information or any information that we should we go. They don't, even, they don't even give us any any allocation. But they now come today and tell us everybody should leave this market and go to the new market. And if you go to the new market, the people that occupy there is the, the owner of the, the people that hold this land. That is the houses. That the people that have bought houses in the market. We Igbos, they don't give us anything in the market. Most of the people that do business in this market, they are Igbos. And none of them that are, they are get the shop there. And some of them got, uh, buy allocation in the market. They could give the shop there. But some of some of outer people who got uh, this allocation there, they buy from there. Some of them got shop. Many of them got shop. But some of our evil people, none of them got. Even one, none of them got shop. So today they tell us, they, they come and tell us that we should leave the market. If not, by next morning, everything will be By next tomorrow, or by tomorrow, they will come and destroy everything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is the shop. As you can see, they are taking it out. Uh, good afternoon, viewers all over the world.
listening and watching us all over the world. My name is Mazi Victor Onido, and I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course, uh, you saw that very uh, pathetic video of how the evacuation was taking place because whatever we come here to discuss is very, very authentic. It is not a stage managed or makeup kind of a thing. You saw it there, you saw how the shops are being evacuated, and uh, as I'm talking to you now, the demolition is ongoing, and uh, we'll be bringing you the updates of that much later. So that is to tell you what our people have to go through. So I welcome you once again to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And uh, I'm not here alone in the studio. Um, Mazio Friday is here with me in the studio. Mazio Friday, can you say hello to the people? Hello, dear friends, lovers of freedom. Thank you for joining us. All right. Also, Mazi Elvis uh, on the way. Are you there? Yes, I am here as always. I welcome in back all dear friends that are listening. Please share and uh, let your friends know because um, a lot has been happening and still keep happening until you're educated. I don't know. So thank you. All right, uh, Mazi, every sound the way. Um, uh, stay there, don't go anywhere because uh, uh, the, I'm coming to you right now. You know, um, this thing it is just uh, more or less like a child's play. All, all of a sudden, our people in Lagos, the place they built with their hard earned money and their life savings, they were being chased out of that place. And uh, we thought it's a joke. Uh, it's a joking matter. Maybe it's the uh, recent uh, hatred, you know, that is uh, uh, been springing up uh, in Yoruba land. Now it has extended to the north. From Abuja, I think you talked about uh, what happened in Dunamis Church. How our the, the shops of uh, Biafans we are burnt up in pieces and uh, they lost everything. No compensation, no even word of encouragement, nothing. And today again is happening at Kefi. This market is a market they built with their sweat from the scratch, and here they are today evacuating from that same shop with without any hope of uh, getting a new one. So. Well, I want you to make your reactions from here. Okay. Um, my comrade, I, like I, uh, I always used to say, um, um, what's that man? If you are big, starts to be, you cannot shine, you, you have a, 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 a time, to make some amendments because this very thing you will have been flying from one place to the other today it will happen in the west that's all right tomorrow it will happen in the north the next it will return back to the Yoruba uh, I mean the uh, Yoruba uh, land that is to tell you that things are dead managed let me just tell you you should remember that conversation may on phone, the team that has been playing on, on our radio uh, stations and television stations was made by these two people, Alaji Kule Ajay and the one man, the governor of Ademawa State. They made this very comment. The man revealed the secret, the purpose, report, and the script of what the house has. And made of and the pounds of the Yorubas. And you will see it right now, this is the second piece of the 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 the, 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 the uh, of its office. And they are implementing they're not only implementing they are making sure that those things are being in place because it's happening in Yoruba land and it's happening in the house of land. And who are the people who are the victims? The Hebrews, the Blackfans are the victims. But my question is Indiana of what are they willing to listen? People we are expecting for, people we are clamoring for, people we are kind of taking our time, you know, warning people so all that our listeners are calling their data listening. Are they willing to do the need for like this very show right now you saw that 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 is uh, kind of being demolished? Only the door alone, you know the cost of it? And that very door has become useless because I can't use it for any other thing again. And that very brother that has been a kind of that the 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 GDP will interviewed. I was so sorry that he that he a kind of uh, is affected 
But is he willing to uh, kind of change and uh, leave the Northerners alone so that the Northerners should leave them alone? That is the major question we should ask them because many of them are not willing. If you tell them now, they will, if you ask them, they will tell you that it is difficult. Is it difficult when they get to another place? Is it difficult when they, they start buying land and start building? Because they don't have vision. Because the Bible says that my people perish because of lack of what? Wisdom. You understand? So as you are looking at them, I don't see any remorse on their faces that they are tired. Because when they have been relocated to another place, they will go there and start building because they are known for nation builders. They don't, they don't care. But the main problem is the leaders of those markets. What are they saying? Because they listen to the leaders, they obey their instructions. What are they saying? What was their, their, their agenda? You don't have any plan of relocating. You don't have any plan of a kind of shifting their goods or their markets down to Brazil and the answer is no. Rather they will call them and say, hey, don't worry, it has happened here, thank God nobody dies. Even if they prepare the someone die, it is the will of God that we should forget about it, let us move to other side. It will take us uh, maybe six months, we we'll fix it, we we'll put it in place, the customers will come, but let us go. You find out that the major problem is the encouragement that the leaders of this world market are giving to them. And those of them that own the shop in every place, they thought that there is no land and there is no space in the black land for them to kind of uh, do their businesses. But uh, that is a black and lies. So if they are willing to listen, if they are willing to change, if they are willing to kind of buy the idea, we are not telling them the bad thing, but what we are telling them is to think, to help them to start thinking home, to start selling their, most of their, their, their businesses down to the black even if you want to buy in the north. Let your main business be set up in your father's land because Adia Mama. This is Adia Mama now has been happening. Many of them borrowed money to open the shop. Some went to Nehru or, or, or Nisha to bought those goods on credit to sell and get kind of return back money. And this thing happens right now. And we see that they breached the contract and those donors of those goods will not supply, like we don't give them anymore. So my brother, it is time they start to do the needful if they are willing and obedient. Because the one thing is what? To be willing and obedient to the instructions of what our leader is saying and what the radios and televisions have been saying all this while. Because we are doing all this in free of time because of the law we have for our brothers and the, 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 the marginalizations and all manner of ill treatment. Just like uh, as my brother Oge said, that the federal government, I want to ask my brother Oge. Since the time in the world, right for us, right for your best, have you in any way or have, have you in any way heard that this thing was what the federal government did for Biafra or what we, this is with the property they own in Biafra, if not oil? So if you are talking about the federal government are not willing, has there been any way or in any, in any, in any day that, that, that they are willing of anything that is happening to Biafra? The answer is typically no. So mentioning them is a provocating words. You know, it, 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 it's like adding uh, so into the saw because we don't know them, they don't recognize us. What, what makes uh, uh, both of us to be one is the oil. And you've seen how they are trying to listen our money to make sure that they, they, they got that very oil. You know, if they got this very oil for their land right now, you see that the, 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 the problem... All right, that's the I will I will come back to you shortly and uh, we are going to talk about that very oil issue. All right, uh, Mazi, okay, Friday. Um, you know, just like uh, Mazi Evis uh, rightly pointed out, um, concerning the leadership of this market, you know, our on ground uh, correspondents tried everything they can, humanly possible, to make sure they get the chairman of that market, who happens to be a Biafran, to speak also, or to get his reaction on what next to do. But the whole effort proved abortive. So, um, from your own perspective, do you think uh, those people with their present condition now, they are still likely to go and uh, rebuild another virgin site? Or do you think uh, with what is happening now, since they are being rejected in that very place, that they build it with their blood and everything, do you think they are likely to listen to the voice of IPOB, the voice of reasoning, of uh, moving down their goods and services back home here in their front land? From my own perspective, uh, with what is happening, I don't see many of them reacting positively to what IPOB is saying. Because uh, they don't 
they, they have been blindfolded uh, not seeing tomorrow but it will be very good to me i i will be hardly i mean i'll be glad if they will adhere to the call of ipob because right now they are helpless you know there is nobody to run to but if in the end of the whole thing now you will see many of them going back to the new site to start afresh but it will be very good this should be a very good opportunity for them to come back home they are trying to reach the market leader but he is nowhere to be cited you know okay okay on, on this very ground do you think uh, he is likely in any way or by any means working with the federal government against his own people because uh, you know when, when you look at uh, the whole scenario it, it seems like uh, the people are some just like Kemazi uh, Evis pointed out the people are somehow acting as if they are comfortable with the situation of things because uh, if it is a, in a normal society people should have gone out to protest you know let them give uh, i mean let the government of Nasrallah state give them at least one single reason why they have to relocate from a place they built it over 20 years ago with their sweat yes our people are more or less acting as though they don't have any option than to dance to the tune of their oppressors you know they are acting as people who are helpless indeed who cannot you know do anything at all that is why you see where this thing is happening they will you know either come out to make uh, noise down the social media for those of them who can even do so and they will go back to sleep in the end of the whole thing they will go and do that which the oppressors want so they, they are very much comfortable with this you know bad situation that is what it is because if you are not at least by now you should have done do something about it to at least change the the, the situations All right. but now the case is quite different Okay, thank you very much, Mazi Ogufayde, for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, I'm going back to Mazi Evis uh, on the way. Um, Mazi Evis on the way. Um, the other issue I raised about uh, uh, Mikanti Baru, who is uh, the uh, MD of uh, uh, NMPC, who is uh, doing all the best he can to make sure he, get, uh, I mean, they are drilling like seriously in. KB and other part of the north in order to ensure they get oil and uh, up to now they've not seen any sign of oil after spending billions of naira and uh, they have not seen any sign of oil so i want to know from your own perspective do you think uh, if uh, let me say chukugu kabiam at this time around should intervene and uh, uh, give them the oil they are looking for is there any way they can be able to accept the oil and uh, let the Biafrans go from your own perspective Mazi Elvis yes my brother there is one uh, word that I would like us to kind of uh, um, put some amendment not correction but okay. amend it okay. that very word is should we uh, should the outsiders allow us to go that if every word is just a word of defeat you know, someone accepting defeat because right from onset, the houses are not the people holding us. You understand? Yes. So if we are saying that should they allow us go, it seems like maybe they are imposing on us the power of supremacy that we are weak. The opponents are not weak. You understand? So I hope you understand what I mean. All right, thank so, you very much. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to be taken now on that. So what I want to say is uh, for you to know that the how serious this uh, disintegration is right now because they know that the zoo is already disintegrated and uh, it's no longer working so they are looking for a substitute that will sustain them ahead of time if paraventure this uh, the, the nigeria uh, kind of suddenly disintegrated unexpectedly but that, that is on on plan because this very disintegration is going to happen on plan that is unexpected like our leader has just said, you will sleep in the zoo and woke up in Biafra. So they are doing every possible means, they are doing everything possible to make sure that they own or they, they kind of got their own part and parcel of the meat, just like uh, uh, James Ali just said. You know, so they will do everything and the money they are using to do those things are our money. So let me just tell you, leaving us or not even leaving us, they know that they are criminals. They know that what they are what they are doing is in support of the, the, the British 
So on Sunday, it's not going to be the same because if you continue to lie to people every day, one day, one day you chopped up with the produce of your lies. So by them, it will cut them just like as you said. It will cut them allow them to uh, kind of finally found oil in their land. Let me just tell you, number one is their first will have peace. That is number one. The killings will subside. And at the same time, the killing will shift to the north because let me just say the reason. If there is uh, oil in that very north, those allergies and those of them in that very place, they have problems within themselves because of their locations of that very oil. So I want you to, to give them the oil so that they will begin to kill themselves as well because that is what they are known for. But for their first, we are no longer part and parcel of the zoo. And the houses are not holding us. We are the people that is holding them because they are running at a skelter in their offices, even in Nassau right now. But thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi Evi Sawundi, for that wonderful contribution. Of course, all their friends and all uh, lovers of freedom, this is Sarah Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Oindo. And of course, you can do good to share our program. In case you are just joining us, you can do good to share our program in all your social media spaces. We are on Periscope, we are on YouTube, we are on Skype, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are also on WhatsApp. Please do good to call your friends, your well wishers, even the enemies of their friends to come close because this is the, very, the only platform where we don't hide the uh, we don't hide the truth here. We expose the lies of the zoo because all the things we are talking about here, you can never see it in any. Uh, zoo media, you can never see it anywhere, even in the in their mainstream media. So we are the ones telling us, so we are the ones letting the world know what is happening to their friends that is scattered all over Nigeria. Do good to follow us on, I mean, go log on to our website, which is www.bfantv.co, uh, and also you can listen to us via Radio Biafra London because we are transmitting uh, concurrently on Radio Biafra London. Right about now, we are going on a short break and uh, when we come back from that break, we we'll open our phone lines for you to call because I know a lot of you want to call in to make your uh, contribution and to also uh, give your own reaction and ask your question if you have any. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Um, today in Kefi, today being Wednesday, the 27th day of March 2019, uh, we saw the people of Kefi evacuating their goods from their shops. Some were even taking out the this thing that they would dug out and the shops thing that they did in their shops. So I don't know. We want to go around and get the information or about what is happening. Please, Mr. Well, thank you, my uh, Please, can you tell the world what is actually happening? What is happening? Now, right now, the government for, for how many years we are still in this market? We are, we are the one that built this market for how many years? We are staying here. So, even today, they don't give us any, any distance at all. Any, any information or any information that we should, we should go. They don't, they don't even give us any, any allocation. But they now come today and tell us everybody should leave this market and go to the new market. And if you go to the new market, the people that occupy there is the, the owner of the, the people that hold this land. That is the houses. That the people that bought houses in the market. We Igbos, they don't give us anything in the market. Most of the people that are doing business in this market, they are Igbos. And none of them that are they are get the shop there, and some of them got uh, buy allocation in the market, but could give the shop there. But some of some of other people who got uh, this allocation there, they buy from there. Some of them got shop, many of them got shop, but some of our evil people, none of them got, even one, none of them got shop. There. So today they tell us, they, they come and tell us that we should leave the market. If not, by next tomorrow. Everything by next tomorrow, I'll be there tomorrow to come and destroy everything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is the shop. As you can see, they are taking it out. Hello, 
up dear friends and all of us of freedom are welcoming once again to sunrise daily news analysis of course my name is mazi victor Onido, and i'm here with uh, mazi okay friday mazi okay friday welcome you once again thank you very much all right uh, also mazi every song the way so also standing by to educate our people on what is going on and uh, also to enlighten us on what he understand of the situation mazi every song the way good morning i mean i welcome you once again yeah thank you very much all right of course uh, our lines are open this time around for you to call in to make your contribution uh dear friends and all of us of freedom uh, please call us this time around to make your contribution i call out our whatsapp line our whatsapp line is uh, plus two three four nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three i call it again plus two three four nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three also the phone line is uh, plus two three four seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six i call it again plus two three four zero seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six also you can call us on skype at sunrise btv or facebook messenger at sunrise btv of course the floor is open for you all right uh, um Mazi, every song they were. Um, you are saying something concerning the uh, the nitty gritty of uh, the uh, the oil that we are talking about. So, can you please go ahead? Yes. Um, my own opinion and um, the the, the uh, what I a kind of uh, view or a kind of uh, trying to say my own opinion psychologically is that um our adventure if the northerners found oil in their land you will see that some of the subjugations some of the enslavement some of the, the disagreement in some laws and uh, the laws of the laws that they uh, disagree to a kind of uh, implement or endorse they will like to a uh, kind of um, endorse them because let me just tell you you know in Adam Awa state they have gold and that gold is not a uh, federal government uh, property it's just for the house of elites do you have do you believe that um in uh castina there is uh, this way i think uh either or is in castina and likewise other northern states and those those of the mineral resources in that very place are meant for the big weeks that is the allies in the north, in the north and uh, it's not meant for federal allocations or federal a kind of direct revenue for the federal government then um they now use the oil in Biafra land because they don't touch their own mineral resources into federal government allocation, but they are using our own oil to support the military to kill us, to a kind of uh, pay those of them that uh, the kind of um, the oil goes to workers, in the box. That's where we see ghost workers, and they are using this very money to pay them. So when they say, oh, what am I going to say in a nutshell? If they found this very oil, finally, we will see that Jaffa uh, will be automatically free. We see that our land will start to develop its by oil because I will tell you, Jaffa will not be living by oil, right of all that. We are living from 50 pounds being given to us by our own war since, uh, since the end of the war. So just to tell you that the only thing Biafra needs is freedom. And that very freedom is so possible. So we don't we are not looking for the oil because even you the eyes, you are looking at the studio right now. Nobody's paying you oil. Maybe you are good just because of the freedom sake. So what we are setting for is for the freedom and not oil, even if they found Fifty hundred thousand billion barrels a second. It's not about this, but our, our, our own. All right, Mazevis, thank you very much. I'll come back to you shortly. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I welcome to the program. Please tell us where you are calling from. 
Good morning, my name is Mike from Turkey. Right, First of all, I want to congratulate you for your good job well done. I greatly imagine the, the car and all the whole happy be members. The people that in the media are trying to reach us in everywhere that we are. May God bless people. My conclusion is my peace. Now, they are trying to destroy the Igbo shop or the Biafra shop in the KB or what? They are not. Is that see for there or is there any interest in there that we see that is a source for them? Let them come back home and invest whatever they have in their country land. Let me make it clear for them. This is a city plan behind the Eurobars and the stars. They will make sure they intimidate the, the Biafras. They don't want them to have any is going on. Both in their political career and in the business level, they intimidate them down in anywhere they are. After this, the next place they will go to start is again is in a battle. After a battle, this is their secret. They will make sure they step out the whole Biafran business down out of their own state or their country. It's better for them to come back very fast and start to retreat it because Hello, come on, what's up? Are you still there? So, please, this is my contribution. I bless you. In Jesus' bless name, I pray. I'm blessed you too. Thank you very much. Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sandra's Daily News Analysis. Our lines are open. We are here to take your call at this very moment. To also get your... Hello? Uh, hello, good morning. Yeah, yeah, good morning. My name is Mike. I'm calling from Turkey. Okay. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Please go ahead and make your contributions. Yeah. My contribution is this. First of all, I thank you for your program. Mr. God bless you people. And bless you too. Bless our leader, Martin and Carlo, and all the people media that publishing this station to make sure that we hear it from you people. May you call them and bless you all. Thank you. My contribution is why our people using their self as a slave and feeling that they are slaving them. With that being told, they do not know what they own the country now. They know that whatever their from business is they will make sure they intimidate them and make sure they spoil their business back home. In that KB now, they are spoiling their business or selling their shop. Is that any international airport there? Or is that any seaport there now? Why can't they come back home? They are now trying to useless them. But this thing will also affect both their political career. All those people, those people that I see that are two politics, they will soon intimidate them down. Because they know that Biaf is going. They don't, have, they don't have any option is to make sure that they intimidate them down. After this time, you see them, it will happen at Ibadan. After Ibadan, it happen at Khan or it happen at Kaduna to make sure that they put all the different business down because they feel that that is where they are shining. So it's better for them to be fast and come back home. If they don't want to come back home, they come back home in shame. But for those who wise, they come back fast and start developing their place. It's better for them because for Biafra, Biafra is going. But it's called now and bless you and bless all the old people in Biafra land and bless all the old Biafra world. And bless you too. Thank you very Thank much, our brother. Stay blessed wherever you are. Of course, keep the calls coming in. We appreciate your contribution. We appreciate your reaction. This is Sarah Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor Onyid. And I have Mazi Yogi Father with me here in the studio. And also, our brother Mazi Evi Sangudiwe is also standing by doing the great work of educating our people. Please keep the calls coming in. If you have any question, feel free to ask a question and uh, it will be attended to. All right, Mazi Yogi Friday, uh, you would like to make some reactions based on our caller's uh, submission. Yes. Um just like uh, they were, you know, saying, uh, who knows where uh, it will be next. The same thing everybody here is saying. Uh, they have uh, tried it in Lagos. They have tried in Abuja. Today's or this last hour. Uh, who knows where next they are heading to? But as long as you are doing those business outside your land, it is not a safe environment for you. 
from what is happening now you should know it very well that your business is there is not safe we so you know what is happening your lives as well will not be safe so it is high time you plan ahead of time and do the needful your land is there for you it's very safe environment for you you've been rejected all these places so you need to wake up that it is not happening where you are now does not mean it will not happen because you hear it on the news like this you listen to it you watch it you don't feel it is possible you don't feel it's happening because it has not happened where you are but what is happening elsewhere is for you to learn lessons okay let me come in here you know you say something that really uh, got my attention you said if your business is not safe then your life is not safe um why do you think uh, in all of these Biafrans are still not uh, getting the picture this, these people I, I tell you that they have been so much deceived they have been you know victimized their minds have been enslaved our people are acting as though they don't have any option but they have millions and wide options to take you have the land very free place, man, you understand options. you have a free land we said that you have uh, places in the whole of Biafra land where you can come and you know uh, make your business thrive we have so many plazas here but you know, the, the, land. the excuses uh, the people from Lagos, I mean, the Biafans in Lagos, one of their main excuses is that uh, the seaports in Biafran land are not working, so they don't have any means of uh, importing. All right, we have a call on the phone. Call on the phone, good morning. Hello. Good morning, welcome to the program. Hello. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. My name is Chukwu Okay, please, can you, uh, you know, shift from your location yep. and uh, project your voice a little bit? Your voice is not... Yes, enough. I want to talk about the politics. You see, our people are in trouble. So many of them don't know what is happening. They are busy to see that they are finding something to eat. But the outside people have internal plans. Outside the area have internal plans for our people. And to help our people understand what is going on. Trying to do so, they will continue doing what they are doing as before. The only way out is to support IQD. They will fight and they because Nigeria can never ever never see the light of this from now. Forget about what they do there, they call it elections. Let them go there and kill themselves. They are going nowhere. What I'm trying to say is this. Today, there is a news that four Fulani headmen adopted a reference father. I want to say Kadek Ali Ariz or whatever he call himself. Whatever you are saying against Yafra, I'm sorry for you. Because if you calculate what is happening to Reverend Father in, in Nigeria, it's full of investment. And all the Reverend Father, none of them can say anything. Some of them, they kill them, they, they do them. If you trace out what is happening to all the Reverend Father and pastors in, in Nigeria, it's caused by full of investment. And they are doing it without without anything, without considering anything. They, they got about four of them. How many people are these men in prison? How many people are these men take to court? How many of them have been killed? Who died their brother? What did he have? What did he do to make sure that full of these men stop this nonsense they are doing here? So what I'm saying, all the reverend fathers, pastors, all of you, even the bishop, who is against the Afra, if you continue doing what you are doing, I know that many of you are working for that. Many of you are working for Satan. Anybody is against, anybody who was against the Afra is a Satan agent. Anybody is against the Afra is a, a Satan agent. You claim that you are pastor. You claim that you are reverend. You claim that you are bishop. All of you who are against the Afra are working for Satan. And it will not go for you. Anything you did against our 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 our, our leaders of the colour, 
Anything you did against the Afghans, against, against the will of people, you must pay for it. One day you will die. That the bishop will die with you. That the arrested will die with you. That the apostle will die with you. And you will, will suffer in the hellfire. Many of, many of you are dragging a lot of people to hellfire. Please, I can you please pastor, can you ramble up now so that we can take other calls? What you are not. You will not see good things if you are against the Afghans. Thank you very much. I'll help you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, we have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Yeah, I'm just Alright, keep the calls coming in. We have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Yeah, yeah good morning, my brother. Mazi Unido and Mazi Davis. Good morning. God bless you, people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all your friends all over the world and the entire world who love freedom. May all God bless everyone. Please, I just want to call because I've been trying to call reach all this while it well, didn't work. That's why even I'm on my way, I want to make this call to so, my brother my African rep. You know, it is a, 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 a forgotten issue, but uh, because my spirit has not rested since then, I will become ready to plead with Mr. Nazi, our father, Nazi, Obide, Obieni, because of what happened two nights ago. And in the morning, I was the person that called. I, I was insulated. I thank God that God will use God Almighty in use uh, our brother African West and the uh, and uh, our deputy. Mazi, please can you react on the topic we have now, please? We don't have much time. You know, yes, my brother. I want to plead to Mazi, please, Mazi, only do please. The entire world should relax. This cause is a there is a cause for this has shown me that. The people in this platform is ordained to go to Kadiama. And I will struggle by the grace of God. I want this opportunity to also appreciate Mazi Onida, African web. God is using him to do. But people find me difficult, you know, when you look in my right. um, uh, one way or the other. In the course coming in, this is Sarah Bill. That's a very much we can take from you, Mazi. Thank God that all this God bless everyone. I have a call on Sky. Call on Sky. We have a call on Sky. In Chico, because we are much more than that. Amen. Thank you. Call on Sky. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. Uh, how are you today? We are good. And you? Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Uh, my, I'm fine. My name is uh, Michael Gutukwe Mekawa Jago. I'm from Abujog in Urumba, Biafra land. Calling you from uh, United Kingdom. Alright, you're welcome. Uh, Please, you I want to make a contribution. Yeah, I want to thank you all for the good job you are doing. I said keep it up. May Chuko Kabia must strengthen and bless each and every one of you. you and give you the energy the wisdom and understanding to continue to pilot the affair. Um, I'm hearing what is happening this morning, which is very unfortunate. They say that the both people don't run, or the Afras don't run, uh, before the rain starts, until the rain soaks them. I don't know how long, they, how long such a thing will be happening to us, and we claim that they are sensible. We are very clever, we are sensible, we're intelligent, and the Aosa man, Ekaturera, has been ruling us for over 50 years. And we're still claiming to be sensible. They have been looting and burning our goods in other parts of the zoo, and we're claiming we are sensible. They have been demolishing our properties every now and then, and we're claiming we are sensible. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, it's up to them. If that is what is going to make them to come back home, Long may it be. If they want to continue to stay in the land of the enemy and continue developing it, why their own father's land is still served of development? Let them continue. But all I know is that none of us in diaspora post and say that he's happy being outside. 
doesn't matter how much you make. Because at the end of the day, the money you make here in this country or in diaspora goes back to them. The same thing as the money they make in the north, in Lagos. It stays there. So there's no place like home. And that brought me to um, that uh, man they call Cardinal Rinze. Uh, it's, it's, it's true that we've been talking about it for some time now, uh, but we're not going to stop that until they start behaving. I think they say Catholic, uh, whatever, whatever you call yourself. My community is 99.99% Catholic. The what I'm telling him is that it doesn't matter since the Christian world are backing, putting their back against the Christians, those they call Christians in the Biafra land and Africa. Whatever happened to us is not to human beings. We will go at any length to make sure that we send a strong message to them. If this so-called Bishop Arin is continue to behave like this, they will be beaten up in the Afrika land this time, so that others will learn. And to continue to behave like this, his dead body will not come back home. He will bury there the way he is, because our place is not much worry. Where if any, anybody dies, they bring him there. If he dies, they bury him with the Yoruba and the house and the Fulani. And the, and the Pope, uh, after all, they, they, they say they bury them in the monastery or whatever. So they should leave us alone and leave us to fight for what we are looking for. They don't like anything. It's full of food and whatever I want, woman, man, man, money, anything they want is full there. So they should leave us alone. We continue to struggle to survive. We are having children outside there. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, none of us, out of 100% of us outside, it's not up to one person that, that their children understand who, any single word in their language, in our own native languages. Be it Hebrew, be it ethnic, it's all whatever name we call ourselves there. Not up to one person of us, their children understand what is come. Come. Be yes. They don't understand. And when you say it, they well, tell you what I would do to do with some other colors are written online, please. Therefore, we heard it. Thank you very much. Of course, keep the calls coming in. This is Sarah's Daily News Analysis, and uh, our lines are open. This is very, very uh, welcomed and accepted. Please keep it coming in. We need more reaction based on the situation we have on ground. All right, we have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Am I coming out? You are coming out loud and clear. Please tell us where you are calling from. Okay, I'm Chisom Ejikem, calling from Malaysia, a student of Mazen Mandekalo. Um, I want to let our people to know, most of us believe in the scripture, in the Holy Bible. If we check, we will see that Jacob dug a well seven times. The seventh one is where he do what he progress. After that, the, the, the place he is in a foreign land, they still ask him to go. Because of that progress, they still ask him to leave that place. And which he leave? The same thing happened to, the same thing happened to Abraham. The same thing happened to Abraham. They still ask him to leave. He leave. I want to let our people to know, no matter whatever you like do, look at Nasarawa. My family is better than Nasarawa state as a whole. Look at Nasrawa asking our people to go. It's time for our people to understand. Let them come back home. Our place is quite better. Hello, come on, are you still there? seem to have lost them. Please try and do call us back. We appreciate your contribution and your opinion. Please keep it coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis and my name is Mazi Victor Onido. And I have Mazi Ogofayde with me here in the studio. All right, uh, um, Mazi Ogofayde from his uh, submission. Yes. What would you make as a reaction? Um, it's quite unfortunate that uh, the people we are better than in so many ways are coming to cajole us even to send us away from their land 
But these are the people who are better than. So it is our people who are making mockery of themselves. So what we need to do is to okay. come back home. All right, I'll come back to you. We'll have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp, good man. My brother, it's not a prayer. But God knows how you feel. He to his work. Let it be. Even though you're not. Boom. That is the only thing I need to contribute this morning. All right, thank you very much. Every show that I've got. Skippy coming in. we have a call on Skype. Call on Skype, good morning. Hello, call on Skype, good morning. To proceed. To each and every one of us in the studio. I greet my brothers. I greet uh, the analysts in the studio. Hi. My name is um, Daniel Russo, calling from Ikocha. I'm from Akwai Bomi, Ikore Pene, precisely, if you are familiar with that very area. All what we are saying this morning boils down to one very point, one point, that uh, we, there is no way we are going to get our freedom by appealing to our oppressors. It is never done that way. Freedom is not gotten by for free, for free, be on an equal ground. It will not be a master state negotiation. It will be a negotiation where our decisions will be respected. It will be a negotiation where our collective desire will not be ignored, will not be insulted. But this will not be possible when we fail to build ourselves. It was the mistakes founded or the, the national leader of, of the zoo today, they, 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 they made. It was the mistake they made. They never built themselves to the point where their voices will be respected, to the point where their desires will be accepted. Even when the North did not want in 1956, the North never wanted to join the, 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 the union. They wanted their own separate union. It was these same people who did not see the future that forced the North into this union. And now that the oil has come to the question, the North is not willing to let go. They want to reap all that they can reap to, 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 to reap all they can uh, reap out of the land. And at the end of the day, they will now talk of splitting the, the whole the, the whole the whole union. So Biafrans, I will encourage each and every one of us to keep the fight going. Good morning from you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, our brother, for that wonderful contribution and submission. Of course, we do appreciate. Stay blessed wherever you are. Of course, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Manzi Victor Oyendo, and I have Manzi every Friday with me here in the studio. And also, our brother Manzi every Sunday is doing a great work of uh, educating our people. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Uh, my name is Mohamed Chidu Oklimba. I'm calling from Nassau State, KP Nassau State. All right, Mazichine Do Kenwa, thank you very much for joining us in today's program. Please, can you give us an update of what is going on there in KFI? Um, currently, now, this morning, as I'm speaking to you now, they have deployed 11 kilos band, filled with, filled with army, and, and the Mayans um, people. They are heading to the KFI market right away now. So that is what is happening on the ground. Already yesterday, there was the there was a potential election issue from the map. So some of our people, they started in their door, their shops, and started the us. So I just started into the mission and the Hello? I said, have they started the demolition? So can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Are you hearing me? Chile? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, what are the situation of our people? What are they doing? Do they have any alternative? Um, as it was, you know, there was this market that was built in Kauta. So, most of the allocations that were there, we are given to our first state we are So then each of the shops now we are um, each of the shops in Ga now say that for you to go to the shop the list shop there is already there. So now they want our people to go to their place. So that our people can know how bad those are 
Already when things like this giving, you have to give allocation to both people, to both parties. The allocation was given to only our some people. And now they are trying to force out. And this market then uh, our people are in. before they started this place. They told them that this place is going to be demolished every moment at any given time because even if you are going to build the market, that this one will be state go uh, state government market, what this one will be local government market. But now we are trying to compare our people to go to the market. Already uh, there was a time that they to understand that this how to set the market up there. So that's the thing to you know. Okay, I'm not sure. Are they making any movements at all? Are they mentioning anything in their ways of uh, uh, action? Uh, are they taking home at all? Are they making any move to return back home, or are they still going back into those bushes to go and develop the empty land there? I mean, what are the reaction of our people? Are they taking home okay, at all? Thank you. Like um, I, I met some of our people today. You understand? So mainly, some of them are fed up. Uh, like I met one or no, he was saying that he's going to um, um, dismantle the whole thing that he has already. And after which he's heading back home today. As after he has done with dismantling the whole thing, that he's going back home. That this, the whole thing is, as he's fed up with the whole thing, that he cannot continue to go. It's better he go back home and be managing the little that he can that stay here and be suffering. Our people, exactly. some of our people are already making up their mind to back home. But you know that as this thing is, some of our people, they are stiff naked somehow. Some are hair bent that no matter what happens, they are still going to stay here. But majority of our people are making plans of coming back home. Of course, we do still have those terrible people call themselves be friends. All right, thank you very much, Chinedu, for your kind report. Of course, uh, keep the report coming in. We'll still like to get more updates of what is going on there and uh, uh, the safety of our people over there in Kefi, Nasarawa State. Thank you very much, Mazi Chinedu, for that wonderful report. Of course, keep the calls coming in. We'll have a caller on Skype. Caller on Skype, good morning. Hello, caller on Skype, are you there? Yes, I'm to Yes, you are coming out loud and clear. Please tell us some more where you are coming Hello, from. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Pastor Jack. I'm coming from Lagos this morning. I'm from New Moon Moon in the East Thomas community in Mahaji and in Northern Province. Yes, All I'm right. this Pastor Jack, I'm please join in and make your contribution. Hello? I said, please go ahead and make a contribution based on the topic we have. Okay, yes, okay. All right, I give God thanks this morning, first of all, uh, for you people, our uh, leader and the uh, entire struggle. I, I got the topic on discourse this morning. Well, uh, to me, it is not surprising, but at the same time, it's, it is uh, disheartening. But uh, I want to go st straight to the point. Our people are like people who are, they, they, they always live until when they were train them or until when they are doing before they will make a move. I want to enjoy them this morning to take a very bold step and I want to get the leadership of IPO to our various coordinators to meet with all these market leaders our people in diaspora in different places. Have a meeting. Let's make arrangement of their coming back. Because most of them, if you don't talk to them, they don't do, they do nothing. They do nothing. Most of them are listening to where they are. I think I remember sometime in 2003 or so, when I was in Ghana with my family, so such issue of this public marriage or our roles. So we made the decision and decided, I would have it. And one day we just use it well and packed everything and went back to work and we go back to work. So what I'm saying this morning, it is not surprising because that conversation with the Kunle, and Farouk is the reality. And this as a result of their long hidden agenda to dehumanize our people. So this morning I want to enjoy and urge our people to do well 
in relocating with immediate distance. Because even though they move into the new place and develop it, the same thing will still happen, just like it happens in Lagos. So we cannot continue to fool ourselves. We cannot continue to fall victim. Please, let's lay us in the case of the let's lay us with these people and not have to go to this their this down home and to know the next the next uh the next uh next thing that the next way forward. If not, we're gonna be having them everything they have gained or have worked for. I think at this juncture, this you know what I have to say, we have to do that. Thank you very much for the God bless you. Bless you too. Thank you very much. We appreciate you for that wonderful uh, call and uh, submission. Of course, keep the calls coming in. This is Sarah Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Oyindo. And I have Mazi Ogifaido here with me in the studio, and also uh, Mazi Evi Sawundi is standing by to attend to us. All right, uh, keep the calls coming in, and uh, we are ready to pick your calls at the moment. Of course, uh, um, Mazi Evi, are you, are you hearing me? Yes, my comrade, I am hearing you as always. Okay, um, please, uh, you've had the situation I want and to also the uh, yes, reactions of some of I, our people. I would like you to make your submission from there. Okay, yes, why you go? I, I, want I have to a call on, the, call on the phone. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us the name of where you are calling from. My name is Vanessa. I'm calling from my property. Uh, I just have a little bit of discussion to make it money concerning uh, our people in Lagos and also in Abuja. Uh, uh, good morning, my brothers. I believe you can believe in uh, because our leader of our society a long time ago about what is going to happen and how people don't believe it because some from me both the language. There is only man that can speak to us. If there are people listening to him, they will not fall victim. But my father was always the sick one man we say never a mistake to make a mistake, but it is a mistake to repeat a mistake. If they remember back about 20 pounds of that war, they will still remember that the enemy still remains to do the, uh, the needful. So they have to listen to our leader. Our leader has already speak for them in different ways, different prophecy. None of them believe. I thank God for today. As the prophecy has already come to show, come to play. So they have to come back. If they come to our Bible church, they will have enough land to the group. Yes, I will go to the enough land, three land. In Abia State, we have enough land. Let them prepare, come back home if they want to listen and listen. If they don't want to listen, they continue to me. We are compromised. We have a risk of mind. After this time, we know what to do. So, we we'll ask our people to come back home. To so come back home, there is no time. And I uh, want to greet my brother, Daniel, Daniel Russo. I hear his voice. I say, Daniel, continue. Be strong, your brother. We are all together in struggle. I want to greet my leader. And my God bless my leader. I give him strength and knowledge, wisdom to continue to take us down to the other land. May God bless our brother. All the Ethiopia. Thank you very much, our brother, for that submission. Of course, uh, we appreciate you for that wonderful submission. Of course, keep the calls coming in. We have a caller there. All right, keep the calls coming in. All right, uh, um, Mazevis, please, can you go ahead? Yeah, um, I call it the only thing I have to say was uh, the response to uh, the correspondent from the KB. Um, Kefi, uh, if Kefi, he's not listening, KB. I will. Kefi, Nasarawa State, not KB. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, if he is listening, um, he should make some videos and uh, send to this uh, platform. And at the same time, 
we want to hear from the leaders of that very market because now there is this very thing we have to look into well, I say this, the video you just really? played uh, at, the, at the time of the break was done by him and uh, the pictures you saw there is what he did. And uh, the leader of the market uh, refused to uh, speak to us. He refused to make any reaction. It's only just uh, 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 one of our brother who, you know, uh, tried to speak to us. The rest of them did not want to speak. They declined. Okay, that is to tell you that those of okay, them are them. sacrificial lamb. They are they are working for the house or oligarchy. They are not interested. So, but I, 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 I will come back to you shortly. We have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, please go ahead. My name is. Okay, so your name is what? Hello? Hello, I didn't get your name. My name is Alum Kamoka from Natural State. Okay, please go ahead and make your contributions. Thank you, my brother. God God bless you, people. And God bless you, try again. I thought you would come to me and hear this now. Breaking news for Natural Hour. Last week, if you don't know me. So, don't know, no better man will hear me again. My son, you are the prayer. May those who two brothers, I, what did they happen for this country? Now, they don't reject us. They reject us. Our land don't reject us. Everyone need to cooperate now. May no condemnate. Vito. I will call later. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much, and I appreciate your call. All right, uh, Mazi Evis, please, can you go ahead? So, um, what, what I was saying on a nutshell was that um, that is to tell you that the enemies of their friends are not far fetched. I don't know why our people, most of our people, are hell-bent on the power puzzle. They want to become what they are not meant for, even if they found themselves under the office of leadership. They are not there to help the problem. They are not, they, I mean, they, they are not there to help solve the problem, but rather they are there to help create more problems. Because, like I said earlier, these people are the major... The, if you check it very well, you find out that that very man, leading that very market, has collected money and promised the Northerners to build the, the shop and increase rent and uh, by them paying the rent he will be able to get some percentage just like what Baba Sandor is doing from the MTN recharge card you know and when you when you want to talk to these kind of people they won't accept it because there is they, they, they are part and parcel of dividends that is coming out from the, the, the pains of their own brothers do you understand so I, 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 I believe that that very guy should uh, submit his numbers to, to Radio Biafra and his pictures have been uh, posted here on, a, on, a, on this very platform. The other thing I want to say is that um, most of our brothers that are willing to come back from, there's from many uh, uh, areas, either from Yoruba land or from north, our people back home should make space. They should create space All right, for my them. Service. Thank you very because, much. I'll come back to you shortly. I have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Hello? Hello? Hello, we can hear you loud and clear. Please go ahead and make a contribution. Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Good morning, my fellow dear friends, all over the world. Good morning. Welcome to the Good program. Morning. Please tell us your name and where you are coming from. My name is Ajim I'm calling from my local state. Okay. Please go ahead and make a contribution. Okay. Uh, sincerely, I uh, thank you for your and I cannot thank you for your love. For it to have because. Thank you, Mazi Oni. I say thank you, Mazi Ogre Friday. I'm uh, one of the personal officers and a great of the city. In fact, I cover the people of the South Media. I'm the leadership of Mazi and the Kano. 
Appreciate you for your wonderful contribution. Please stay blessed wherever you are. Keep the calls coming in. We'll have a call on Skype. Call on Skype. Good morning. Good morning. Am I calling loud and clear? You are coming out loud and clear. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Wachineko Jimba. Calling from the district, of course. All right. Wachineko uh, Jimba, you're welcome to the program. All of you for the wonderful job you are doing. And I have some little contribution. Uh, towards the topic of grant and um, the previous one too, so I've been reacting to some few things. First and foremost, um, the previous time, uh, uh, we, uh, you know, this uh, news was going on how we are going to fight uh, this uh, cow meat, uh, you know, because of uh, how they have been, you know, killing our farmers, raping our mothers in the name of cow. So, uh, and the game. Uh, uh, Miss Atushu used to repel cattle from our farmland. I think uh, by now there should be some ideas and all that that will help our farmers who are our parents, you know, to be, to, to be able to uh, repair cattle that are coming to uh, damage uh, uh, crops and all that. So, and again, uh, I, I make a point of uh, duty to ensure that there is no cow meat cooked in my house. I think all platform must uh, emulate that. And uh, that's all can touch my mask with uh, Martineko Jimba. We are uh, hello? having some serious technical difficulties. Please be a fan of all of us of freedom. Uh, hello? This is where we call it a shot. We are having some technical difficulties. Uh, 
All right. We have found some all of us of freedom. Please join us same time, same station tomorrow as we bring you other interesting program. We are under serious attack. Let us try and fix the technical issues we have here. Stay blessed wherever you are. Thank you.